Hey there, Rectech family, I'm Chef Greg, and no Thanksgiving would be complete without the ultimate Southern macaroni and cheese. This is one of those recipes that we actually consider a vegetable down south, and after you taste it, you'll agree too. We're gonna take five eggs, we're gonna crack them up, and we're gonna add some milk. Basically, we're just gonna make a custard. And there's a bajillion different ways to make macaroni and cheese, and honestly, I think this is the simplest So the egg and the milk are gonna be the base for the custard. Now we gotta add some flavor. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of that Colden's Freakin' Greek. And two tablespoons of that Ben's heifer dust. Again, just engage riot mode, flip the lid back. We're gonna add two pounds of mozzarella cheese. I told you it's a vegetable. And then we'll add one pound of the shredded cheddar. We'll save about the other pound for the top. Help give the mac and cheese a good twang. We'll add some Parmesan cheese. It's also gonna add a decent bit of salt. We'll just kind of mix that up. We're gonna take two pounds of elbow macaroni. Now we've cooked this to the package uh, directions. We've actually undercooked it by just a minute or two, and that'll help soak up some of the juice. Now here's a chef tip for you. Don't rinse your pasta ever. Okay, that starch that's on the pasta is gonna help thicken it up, make it really delicious. All right, take everything I just said for the last minute and a half and just 86 it. Got the recipe wrong, why? Because I was trying to scale it back, but we're making a big batch for the warehouse today because it's the week before Thanksgiving and you gotta feed the staff. So it's gonna be 10 eggs and eight cups of milk for two pounds of pasta, two pounds of mozzarella, and two pounds of cheddar. If you don't trust what I'm saying, just go to the website, the recipe there is correct. See, we are human. Much better. But the only thing we didn't increase was the seasoning. So we need to go ahead and add some more of those right now. Okay. Everybody thinks everything goes perfect uh, when we're filming around here, I can assure you. Not all the time. Perfect. Now you can see this mixture is not super loose, right? But there's a good bit of, I'll say, wetness ratio between the noodles, the cheese, and everything else. Okay, that's what I want, right? Now a double batch is gonna make two nine by 13 pans, or one serving for our camera crew. All right, so we're gonna fill up our dishes. We've got some casserole dishes. Now these are a little smaller than nine by 13. Um, but we'll see what, it, we'll make it work. Make sure you spray with a nonstick spray because whoever's doing the dishes will thank you later. And then we're just gonna kinda like, schlop this in here. And schlop is a technical term. You can always do these in mini muffin cups too if you want individual servings, okay? I've got enough here, I could almost do a third. Again, these are like uh, seven by 10 containers, so. Again, double batch will make two nine by 13. Now we save some of that cheddar cheese over the top. Waste not, want not. Piece of cheese over the shoulder for good luck. Again, 350 degrees burning the ultimate blend pellets. The flagship has plenty of room Probably fit about eight casseroles in there, but we're just doing two today. 30 minutes later, this will be super bubbly and delicious. All right, our mac and cheese has been on for about 35 minutes. Let's take a look. Golden brown delicious. One thing you're looking for, since it's a custard, it's kind of like a little jello-y. See how it kind of pulls away from the pan? Okay, tells me it's nice and done and set. We'll pull these off, it's, couldn't be more excited. All right, you can see that custard is nice and set and cheesy. Watch this, we'll just get a little, little spoonful here. Look at that. Gooey, cheesy, delicious, southern style 
macaroni and cheese. So normally let this cool a little bit so you don't like burn your face, but if you're looking for the ultimate macaroni and cheese for the holidays, this one right here takes the cake. Couldn't be any easier. Basically just mix it together, put it on the Rectech, and the beauty of that cheese layer, it's really gonna soak up some of that delicious wood-fired flavor. From all of us here at the Rectech Worldwide Headquarters, happy holidays.